Thousands of fans are set to swarm the new arena for that Islanders game. So the big question is, how will parking play out? News 12's Andrew Anger takes us through it so we can continue our team coverage. More than 17,000 Islander fans are expected to blow the roof off the team's first game in the new UBS Arena at Belmont Park Saturday. Though officials recommend taking the LIRR or even a rideshare taxi, it's thought many will drive and park with prepaid parking. That really is the best way to do it because you could just pull right in, you, you, you flash your phone to the attendant and they'll let you right into the lot. Fans can also buy parking on the day of the event, but knowing which lot you're going to ahead of time is critically important. There are specific ways to approach each of the multiple parking lots, some of which are on the other side of the racetrack from the arena. So it's best to plan your route ahead of time. We had just put up signage uh, along the parkway that uh, not only gives you uh, directions to the arena, but also specifies the various lots. But not every fan is going to opt to pay for parking here at Belmont Park. And some entrepreneurs in the community want to take advantage of that. Any place you can park a car, I mean, people are going to do it. Gary Vienna lives less than a quarter mile from the arena and plans to rent out his driveway to a few fans. He says other Elmont neighbors are doing the same like they have during past big horse races like the Belmont Stakes. But some civic groups are worried that fans may want to tailgate off property since it's not allowed in official parking lots and that they could create noise and garbage. This community is a very quiet uh, community and we would expect everybody that's coming in to enjoy the benefits of the arena would also respect the community. Arena officials say they'll be patrolling their lots to discourage any tailgating. In Elmont, Andrew Enger, News 12 Long Island. So if you want more information about getting to and parking at the UBS Arena for future events, we have the information on our website, news12.com, under numbers and links.